Good morning. A bit of a light night last night, but had some fun going out to dinner with the boys. I wanted to talk about more like think through because these are also thoughts that I haven't actually fully formed. My thoughts on on home and what that means and what I've sacrificed for the life that I live now. I was having this conversation at lunch with one of the guys and he was kind of digging a little deeper and asked me some questions about this and I was I was like this is interesting. I haven't <laughs> I haven't actually fully formed these thoughts. The question was like, what is, what is your sense of home? Like, do you have one? And like, what is that? And I think because I don't have a, I don't have an apartment. I don't have an, a, a house or anything in the US. I have my van and that is it's starting to become more like a sense of mine. Um, you know, it's, it was helpful that I renovated and, you know, actually put some, um, some work into it myself, but like it's a home on wheels. So it's my home is wherever I, I take it basically. And so I was trying to describe that I don't, The closest place I could consider a home is Denver, Colorado, but only because I liked Denver. I liked the mountains. I liked the location. Um, the city was was fairly decent. Uh, you know, I've wasn't perfect, but and it worked really well for urban van life there. But, like, what, what even is, like, I think we need to take a step back and define what it even means to, to, like, what home even means. And to me, I think it's, to me, when I think of home, it's like comfort, familiar environment, familiar people, um, connections, like your, your tribe, that kind of thing. I was describing the, like the situation where I would imagine home is like the place where, you know, you, you, you go to the same coffee shop on the, and on the third day in a row or whatever, like, you know, the barista and like the, the guy sitting over there, like you've talked with him and like, you just know people and like on, you know, Tuesday night, you go to the run club and like, you know, John and Sally from there, whatever. And so I think home is this like feeling of connectedness. And I think, I think that's the best description. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. <laughs> I think that's the best description of home that I can, I can give. And, and so I, I like, I don't have that. <laughs> well, I'll share, I'll, I'll share my changing perspective in a second, but, um, I was asked like, what, cause I was talking about how I, I sacrificed some, I was going to say a lot of things, but I don't think the list is that long. I sacrificed some things to 
in in order to live the life that I'm living. There's a butterfly. <laughs> and one of those things was comfort. One of those things was, you know, my apartment, living in a comfortable environment where, you know, you got your couch, you got your comfy bed, the air conditioning is set perfectly, and you know where everything is, you have, like, the friction to do things is minimal. And I sacrifice basically, there's a caveat here, but I, I sacrifice almost everything that I described in what it means to be, uh, or, or what home is defined as. Like that feeling of being a part of the community, going to local clubs, you know, feeling like you know a bunch of people in the in the environment, knowing the barista, going to the library, knowing the people there, you know, going out with friends, going to a restaurant. Um, I I sacrifice that for life on the road. And as I was thinking about this, I was like, well, and this, this may polarize some people watching this, but for how my mind works and my values and the life that I want to live, I was thinking about this and I was like, well, <clears throat> I've always liked deep conversations about life, figuring life out, you know, pushing for better, how can we improve um, personal growth, getting into business and like pursuing your purpose in life. And I was thinking about this and I was like, well, are the people that I would meet in these places where you might be able to call home, a city, a suburb, or whatever. Like for me, Peter, like are those really the type of people with the same values, uh, same like self-improvement, personal growth, working on their business, you know, grinding out on a Saturday or Sunday. Um, it's like, well, <laughs> I think there are just so few people that are doing this that it's hard to find in these environments. And so, you know, something that I've really learned and discovered the past since basically Bali is that there are people out there and they are spread amongst the world as well as I would say, you know, they are, they, what's the word, um, commingle, coagulate, <laughs> they come to like hotspots, like digital nomad places, Southeast Asia. And like the, the people that I've met over the past, well, two weeks and handful in Southeast Asia when I was there uh, the past year, it's like, those are the people I'm describing, <laughs> have the same values, pushing for the same things pushing for the same end goal, end life. And I think the the sense of community is out there to get, to, to integrate with. It's just not traditional. And that's okay. And so I 
think to bring it back to home. I've sacrificed a lot of these things in order to live this life. And I would make that trade again. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm in many regards just starting out. And I would do what I did again. <laughs> and I've been really realizing the power of a social network in the past couple of weeks and how powerful that is and to be part of a group that shares your values. And I still don't have a good answer as to like what home is for me. I just haven't really experienced that type of like digging my roots into a place but at the same time kind of like what I've alluded to like I haven't valued that that hasn't been a priority for me I have put other things other goals other values above that and so I will say that I am not I'm not planning to do this kind of lifestyle forever. And so I see a lot of this as somewhat temporary. And so it's like, well, yeah, I'm not going to be you know, bouncing between places every couple of weeks for, in, until I'm like, you know, 80 years old. Like I I want to, you know, dig my roots into a place at some point. But for me, like, this is the time to do it, you know? So, there will only ever be more responsibilities. So anyway, that's my sense of home, which doesn't really exist. That's how I describe home. And kind of my thoughts around people and community right now. Some... Uh, Changing times, learning a lot for sure. I'm seeing a new, really seeing a new side of life. And I'm very, very grateful for that. So anyway, see you tomorrow.